So you want to pixel some art but have no idea about hues, saturations and color warmth? You watched 5 30 something tutorial videos but never got it? Don't worry because now you can pretend you're an artist just like me and stick to minimum color palettes just like me. Embrace the constraints. Welcome to Spoon Suite for all your homemade syrupy do-it-yourself game recipes. If I can do it, so can you. So, limited color palettes. I have been safely gathering experience for a year now and I'm too afraid to stop. <laughs> In this episode of Constraints Foster Creativity, you will learn why a color palette will help you on your projects, how to find one, how to choose one, how to use one. And while this video is aimed mainly towards pixel art, color constraints are very common in other media as well. Why a color palette will help you While color theory is amazing and super interesting to get into, for some of us wannabe artists, we lack the habits and experience to actually make sufficient use of color theory. And while I do not suggest you remain ignorant, using a palette skips this hurdle and gets you drawing faster. By limiting your colors, Forcing yourself to be more creative, you learn classic pixel art methods such as taking advantage of outlines, mixing the same colors to get different textures and effects, and dithering. Additionally, since color is out of the equation, it will make you more creative in using the other tools at your disposal. Plus, you will use unconventional colors to portray classical associated items, giving it a unique and artistic presentation. It directly gives your work an air of professionalism. What? Why did I make it like this? <laughs> oh, I used a limited color palette, you know? What? You don't see any depth? <laughs> oh, I used a limited color palette, you know? What? You just see an empty screen? <laughs> oh, I used a limited color palette, you know? How to find one? One can find the elusive color palettes in many different biomes and habitats. Here are some websites I've used which you can find the links to in the description. Color Hunt. I was guided to this place by Mrs. It has palettes with four colors and you can easily organize them based on a color you're looking for. It offers a wide variety of palettes next to one another, helping your brain fire up those dopamine receptors. Evolution, can you give me trichromatic color vision? To use for food foraging and improve detection sensitivity? Yes. Actually develops addiction to colors like a boss. Pixly time. Color mind. Oh, I see you are one of those daring explorers and you prefer to make your own path in life. Start with one color and paint the skies with your rainbow. Just don't go down to the dark sewers. The internet is a mess already. Colors. Combining both making a palette and exploring ready-made ones, this website offers many options to choose from and mess around with. Low spec. Oh, I see you have become somewhat of a connoisseur now. Fancy palettes, all nicely presented and categorized with additional how-to examples for you to experiment and combine. Added bonus, you can set Twitter with a creator's hashtag and find more or even show your monstrosity to its designer. Ask another person. People are generally friendlier than you expect. Do not want interaction and hate bringing joy to your fellow human? Try reverse color picking. How to choose one? This one, or this one, or this one, which one? Picking a color palette can be stressful. After all, you have the intimidating, alpha transparent gray checkered square staring at you waiting to be covered in paint. Here are some tips that I use to help me decide. How serious or cute do I want my art to be? What mood am I going for? Do I have an object, character or other thing that I want to stand out? As you learn your software more, you can pull a Pro Gamer Move and color swap your art. How to use one. Now that you have made your choice, how to get the colors from the interwebs down to your cozy square coloring software. Butcher them out brutally from their cozy homes. Snip a tool or screenshot, 
paste on your software and trim the edges. The hunt is complete, only the carcass is left to feed the dogs. Use the download button that is provided for this exact reason. Be the hacker that you are and copy paste the code. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Constraints Foster Creativity. Check one of my other videos and subscribe for the next. If you're planning on joining us for Pixelmania 2021, which you totally should by the way, message me on Discord or tag me on Twitter at SpoonSweet1 with your Pixel dailies so I can see your lovely creations.